Patiently, so thank you so much for that. And I'm Priyanka Lalwani. I'm going to be your host for the day. As you all know, that today we have gathered here on behalf of Visit Victoria, the official board for the state of Victoria in Australia. So a warm welcome on their behalf to all of you present here. So we have gathered here for a press meet that will showcase the best experience that the vibrant state of Victoria has to offer. From the upcoming cricket, T20 Cricket World Cup, well, three cheers for that, the T20 Cricket World Cup that's going to happen, and to the 2026 Commonwealth Games. From the best cafes to the, some of the most imaginative food cultures and the beautiful street art, there is just so much more in Victoria. So today, we hope to leave you with a glimpse of all the great times that are waiting for you. And without any further ado, I would like to now introduce the dignitaries that are present here. First of all, I would like to extend a very warm welcome to Brendan McClements, Chief Executive Officer, Visit Victoria. <laughs> Brendan McClement was appointed CEO of Visit Victoria in December 2019. His appointment followed local and international leadership positions held with commercial organizations and government entities across a range of sectors, some of them including sport, major events, financial services, food and beverages. He's passionate about sports and especially cricket. Well, we now all know about it. With a huge round of applause, please welcome Brendan McClements. Welcome, Brendan. All right. So now it's time for me to welcome one of the rising stars of Indian cricket. Well, I'm definitely sure that he needs no introduction. He is a great ambassador for the game. He has made India proud time and again, and we look forward to seeing him in action at the iconic Melbourne Cricket Ground. So please join me in welcoming Risha Pant. <laughs> Welcome, Risha. I hope you're doing great today. Everybody has been very excited to meet you and see you. Are you excited to see Risha? All right, thank you. So uh, as we have Brendan here, we have Risha here, and as you can see, this installation that is there. This is a special homage to the iconic street art of Melbourne, as well as for the love of cricket. This art installation is created by Arthat, an artist group known for their distinctive creations. This, as you can see, is a pixel anamorphic art. By that, that I mean that this has been created using 200 images of the state of Victoria and if you see it from different angles, it looks like it's in motion. So basically, it's the amalgamation of 
cricket and culture. So the best of both. So a huge round of applause for the art that has been installed here and created. And along with us, I would also like to extend a very warm welcome to Shea Keenan, CMO Victoria, Visit Victoria, and Sarah Todd, runner-up MasterChef Australia 2022. So a huge round of applause, they're here amongst us. A huge round of applause for them as well. Well, this was a bit about the art installation, about everybody who's present over here. But right now, over to you, Brendan. I will let you have a chat with Rishabh. Thank you, Priyanka. Rishabh, welcome. Thank you for your time today. Um, a pleasure having you with us. I think the pleasure is all mine. Excellent. Can I just ask you a little bit about what's coming up later this year? You're obviously an ICC T20 ambassador. Uh, you've got a series of games, but probably none bigger than what happens later this year in Melbourne. How's the energy? Is there a nervous energy in the team at the moment? Absolutely, especially when the World Cup is around the corner. The whole team is slightly nervous, but at the same time, as a team, we love to give our 100% and focus on our process. That's the only thing we can do and give our 100% as an individual and as a team. Excellent. And, and I'm, I'm interested in your thoughts on the MCG pitch. Um, the MCG, uh, lately it's been a good pitch for batsmen to play their strokes. What do you think about what's going to happen later the year, the year at the MCG? I think it's an amazing atmosphere playing at MCG because it's one of the most iconic cricket stadium around the world. So I would love to play there, especially the ambience there. The, especially the Indian crowd over there is really helpful for us. Yes, it's one of the great characteristics of Australia, I think. And everywhere India goes, incredible home support. Uh, I know I was there, uh, Rishbap, uh, recently to see you perform one of the great feats in cricket. The innings you played at the MCG was an iconic one. Have you got some memories of your time there that day? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's one of my favourite moments in my creating career so far. I'm glad that I could help my team to cross the line that day and had that amazing test match win for us in the series. Yeah, I, I have to admit, I was on the other side, <laughs> barracking for the other side that day, but it was... You should be. <laughs> but it, w it was amazing to watch. It was an extraordinary performance. The other thing that I'm, I'm just wondering, uh, when you come to Melbourne later in the year, I, I know you'll be really busy with the game of cricket, but is there something else you might like to do in Melbourne while you're there? I'm a kind of foodie person. I love to have my food, but most of the time I'm playing cricket, so I'm on strict diet. But whenever I get time, I love to explore Melbourne and the state of Victoria for other things also, like food, coffee, and all the other things. Excellent. Yeah, it's got an amazing diversity. And uh, Melbourne, for those who don't know, it is a coffee lover's paradise, so it's a great place to come to. Can I have my song? Thanks. Since, uh, you know, you guys have been talking about the coffee lover's paradise and I'll have to inter interject here and ask you a question that Melbourne is on every traveler's bucket list. So how do you keep the excitement going? I think one of the things about Melbourne is it's always reinventing itself. There's always something new to do, something new to see. Um, and certainly from an events perspective, we're always looking to add things to the calendar. Um, and you mentioned earlier the 2026 Commonwealth Games. That's going to be a fantastic thing to see. Uh, hopefully we'll see 